What's up guys, like Mondo here, and today we are going to be doing on a how-to video. And this how-to video is our, it's one, it's one of our first ones, I believe so. And this how-to video is basically how to use Quake properly. Because a lot of people don't know how to use Quake. At first, when I got the Force Star Quake, a lot of people told me that I did not know how to use her. And they were, they were right, I did not know how to use her till I saw someone fighting with her. And now I know how to use her, I know how to demolish with, with her, and... You know, she's at, I think, 46, um, signature ability, 43, okay? And, um, I have her as a 3-star version, maxed out, but my 4-star ver version, of course, is better. But, um, now I know how to use her, which is really good, and, and, um, you know, I'm gonna show you guys how to use her. Let me just... Wait, just wait a little. Alright, so... I know there's a little characters, but it'll, it'll just make my video a little easier. Just in case I were to get hit so I won't die. So I won't have to be reviving myself or wasting dual credits because I'm pretty low on them. Cause I've been trying now dueling like high champions. So let's let's I'm gonna show you guys how exactly how to use her, especially versus Mordo. Like Mordo is one of the hardest champions to face. Nightcrawler and Mordo, I think, are my like. Um, all you have to do is hold the armor break, and then once sometimes, oops, sometimes um. Okay, so you're gonna have to push them away. And then this gives you armor break. And then you're gonna have to hold it like this, and then it does stun, and just you just keep holding, and it basically kills them. But uh, like, of course, if you were to get a four star quake and you're not that high, like you'll still be able to defeat um, uh, <clears throat> easier champions. You know what I mean? So let's let's go into facing Wolverine X23. Let's see how Quake does. <clears throat> So my Quake currently does 1,071 damage. She's not ranked 5 yet. But, you know, um, usually whenever you swipe back, you have to press the armor break or on the right corner twice for it to activate the armor break because um, cause it doesn't do it all the time. So you're going to want to press twice because usually the first one is a hit and then you just go again. And this is a great way not to be getting hit if you know the champion is going to demolish you. And there it is. I mean, it's not that hard, and you know, it's gonna help you guys out a lot. And all this week, I'm gonna try to be posting on how to videos every single day. I'm gonna be posting another two videos today, so not on how to, but you know, another two videos on other stuff that I have to do. And so, I'm just gonna face two more champions, and then I'll be on my way finishing up this video. And you guys are on your way to subscribe to my channel if you guys aren't already subscribed, and if you guys like the video. Um, please comment down below what else you guys would like me to do, like how to do this, or how how is it that you defeated Road to Labyrinth, or I mean uh, Realm of Legends, who did you use, how did you defeat Act 5, how did you do a lot of stuff, you know what I mean? Oops, I tried letting go so I can hit him. But you know, questions like that, like how did you, how were you able how are you able to get these 4-star champions arenas? You know what I mean? You guys have to ask me those questions because I don't know what you guys want. Please comment down below what you guys want so then I can know. I'm I'm going to be doing another video. Actually, three more videos because I have... Actually, two more videos. But I'm going to be doing another video on guide on a guide on how to defeat Act 5 if you're not that great. But, you know, I'll be telling you guys um, after completing this on how to defeat Act 5. And, um, <clears throat> I don't know if I should go for Nebula, though, because I really like her healing ability, and I do not have a good tech. She'd be a great champion to awake, in my opinion, but I don't want to just waste all my units. I know I'll have around 7k around the end of the month, but I think she's coming out first in Yondu, right? So, look, so her thing is very, it's very, very helpful. I only got in four hits, and she's dead. Especially in Act 5. Because you do not want to get hit in the first chapter, you do extra damage. So those help you out a lot on Mordo or champions that you do not want to give a power up to. So then they could hit you back and, you know, you could die. 
but you do not have to, you do know you had a you have to know uh, how to use dexterity and everything also another a little another uh, tip for quake is that whenever they have a special move you want you don't want to be holding the armor break because you could not evade when they're doing it like even how it, even if it's super easy trust me I know watch let's let's get dr. strange Oops. let's get dr. strange to his special one move why is it why is it taking so long okay so now just hold armor break and it's you can't you honestly cannot I'll never do that one because you know he has low health but let's try out nebula let's try out first the nebula and well, you guys will see it right there because I know she has an extra amount of health and the reason is that I really want Nebula is that she heals I love healing champs. I love them. I love them. I love them. That's why I have um, Rogue and Scarlet Witch as my top champions because honestly honestly They're one of the best champions ever in my opinion because they actually can heal. And I don't have a I don't have a great tech No, I would love to take Nebula to rank 4 even maybe to rank 5 depends if my Five star Starlord would be awakened by then, but you know I would love to take her to rank five, and I I'm just I really do need a tech, and I don't really like Yondu. I love I like Nebula more. I mean like personally I like Yondu better, but you know Nebula she has a way better fighting style in my opinion. I don't know. I'll have to check. I'll have to like do another video on just checking on how on um on their moves and which one does more damage. I know Nebula has some weird crap, like she heals, she does shock damage. I don't know exactly, but we'll, we'll check right, we'll see right now. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose with Quake though because I'm gonna end up messing up because the device sucks. And trust me, I'm not just blaming, I, I'm, I'm good I'm, at playing Marvel. I'm not just gonna be blaming the device, but you know, the device is a problem though because you can tell it's glitchy, it doesn't go smoothly. But next week I should be getting a new device, or this week, I don't know when, but hopefully next week, or I mean this week. So watch, like, all that random stuff, like that, the, the two healing, I don't know what that is. What can I do anymore? My screen doesn't even work because it's cracked. What is all of that? What, like, what is, what does it do? I wonder if I keep her holding. Oh my god, dude, what's wrong with my screen? What the heck? I have this big crack on the on the on my screen, but I'm holding it from the bottom. Let me flip it real quick. I think it'll make it a little easier. I just wanna see exactly how nebula works and i'll be ending the video <sighs> it's like 121 healing i want to keep her blocking long enough what it, what does that do hit me oh i want to get her to her second damage i mean her second move no it doesn't do anything. I don't know what the heck it is. Alright, well, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe for more content. And as always, if you guys like this video, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And, you know, peace out. Till next time.